Our cash flow Excel template makes it easy to deal with VAT in a cash flow forecast. At the moment we're on the info tab and first of all I need to switch the VAT feature on. And I do this by clicking on this drop down menu and you have various options from monthly, two monthly, quarterly or six monthly. So I'm going to set this to quarterly which is probably the most common VAT payment period. So now that's switched on I'm going to go across to the data tab and enter some information. So I'm first of all going to enter some sales. So I'm going to do this very simply by putting in £10,000 in December 2017. I'm going to then increase that by £500, Oops. £500 per month. I'm just do this for the first 12 months. And then I'm going to add in some cost of sales. £1,000 there. And I'm going to increase that by... £250 and then finally I'm going to put an expense in, in here so I'm going to select let's say telephone and I'm going to put in £300 in the first month and I'm going to increase that by £10 a month and again I'll just take that through to December 18. Now at the moment I haven't set any VAT on any of those. To set the VAT you just click on this drop down menu and you have various VAT rates that you can select. I'm going to select 20% but just quickly if the rate that you require is not listed there just hop across to the info tab and either change one of the existing rates or enter your own rate in here. So I'm going to select or put in a rate of 10% and then jump back here and if I click on that drop down you can see that 10% is now available to be selected so I'm just going to set all the rates to 20% on each one of these rows that I've entered information for and now I'll just jump to the VAT report to show you the entries that that has made so we've got VAT coming through for our customers of £2,000, 2100 and so on. And that's essentially the 20% of each of those sales figures. Then I've also got VAT coming through on my purchases. So I think there must be a mistake that I've entered there. Yes, I didn't uh, do that increment. There we go. Let's just correct that very quickly. Let's go back to our VAT. And there you go. So you've got the £200 which is on the £1,000 and so on. And then on our overheads that's been pulled through there. So what this does is it then works out what the net return is. Now we said that we'd set that up to be paid quarterly. So the first payment is at the end of the first quarter. All of these figures get pulled through into the various reports but in particular that payment gets pulled through into the cash flow report. So you can see at the top You've got the receipts coming through from your sales. You've got the payments relating to your cost of sales and then your overheads. And then you've got your VAT payments coming through with the 5364. So then we've got various other features within the VAT to change. So we can change the first payment month. So if I change that to 2, go back to the cash flow, you'll see that it's moved where the payment actually falls. Equally, if I change that to monthly, go back to the cash flow forecast, it'll show us that the VAT is paid every single month going all the way through the cash flow forecast. But what I'm going to do is going to change that back to quarterly, leave that as month one. The other option you have is to delay when the actual payment hits your cash flow forecast. So at the moment the payment relates to the first quarter and that falls in month four or March 2018 in this example. However, a lot of the time the actual VAT doesn't come out of your bank account. Certainly in the UK, it tends to come out sometime at the beginning of the following month. So if that is the case, just change that to yes, back to the cash flow forecast, and you'll see that it's moved it to another month, in this case April 18. This makes it very quick and easy to do. You also have the option to set this to be called sales tax or GST. So on all our reports, if I change that to GST, and I'll go back to our data report, so instead of the heading being VAT terms, or VAT rate, it now says GST rate. If 
I go to the VAC sales tax, it talks about output GST, input GST, and certain, and the heading is GST. You do also have the option of changing those headings to something else. So if in your country none of those apply, you can change that very quickly and easily. Let me just quickly show you how that works. So I'm going to just change sales tax to test tax and then scroll back up and then I can select the new entry I've entered in there and change it to test tax. So if I then go to here, it'll say test tax rate and so on. I'm going to change that back to VAT. You also have the ability to be able to select the month that you are VAT registered. So if you are a new business or a business that, that is expanding and during the cash flow forecast period you register for VAT, you can change the first month that VAT applies. So let's assume that you register for VAT in month 5. So I'm going to change that to 5. I'm going to hop across to the VAT report and you'll see that the VAT has now been taken out the first four months and it only starts to apply in month five. Change that back to month one. There's also a VAT payment override. So if I change that to yes, this allows us to put in our own specific payments. And this is done on the data tab. So I'll just scroll down. And then I can put my own payments in here specific to what VAT we have been paying. And you have two options with that. You can either have it so that it ignores the default quarterly, monthly and so on payments, or you can have it set so that it uses the override payments as well as the standard quarterly, six monthly, etc. payments. And then finally, you can change the description of this particular type of payment. So that's what shows up on your reports. Just having a look at some of the other reports, so for example on the balance sheet, any VAT outstanding at the end of any month or year end will be shown on the balance sheet, so in this case at the end of each of the 12 months, or on the monthly balance sheet, it will show you the amount outstanding at the end of each of the balance sheet months.